Good morning, everyone. Welcome to a new day at USC. I have class at 11, and I've just been like having a nice kind of slow morning. We're doing a little bit of homework before my writing class that I have at 11 because I didn't do it last night. It's just been a really chaotic last like week and a half. I had a ton of work due last week, and then this past weekend I went to Phoenix, Arizona with my club tennis team, and that was from like Thursday to Sunday. Drove like 14 hours total, played a lot of tennis, woke up at like 5 a.m. every single day, and so I got like no sleep, but it was still like literally such a fun trip. So when the day comes, when they pull up this video in front of my entire team to watch together, this is for y'all. But now we're back at school and we're trying to kind of get back into a routine to reset a little bit and rest up also. Like yesterday I had such a lazy day. I had class at 12 and I literally stayed in bed until like 11.20, which was much needed though because I was just so exhausted from the whole weekend. As a result of that, I didn't do any work last night, mainly because I'm trying to figure out my living situation for next year. And so me and my roommates, we had to like call the office of the apartment that we're at. I had to have a bunch of discussions with my parents. So that was much, much needed, but my homework completely did not get done. So today's gonna be a bit of a grind day. I have a lot to do this week. I have a test tomorrow for math and then I have a 10 page paper due for my history class. I have a couple of like, birthdays that I'm celebrating for friends. I have a couple like appointments. It's just gonna be rough. We're gonna get ourselves together. I literally have not worn this jacket since like senior year of high school, bro. What is in here? Literally just proved my point. Oh my God. Literally a gas receipt from May 16th. I swear to God, I got this gas when I was playing Spy vs. Spy with Mia. That is heartbreaking. I'm gonna put that back in my pocket. <laughs> last minute math prep. Here's the first thing. So like I mentioned at the start of this video, there is this 10 page paper for my history class that I have to work on throughout this week. And so I want to give a big thank you to Grandma Lee for sponsoring this video and for saving my life with this essay. This essay has definitely been stressing me out because of how long it is and it's also a very big portion of my final grade for this class and so Grammarly is definitely going to be super helpful with helping me get a good grade on this paper and a good grade in this class and basically just for those of you who don't know what Grammarly is it's a digital writing tool that just helps you communicate clearer and hence why it's super helpful with helping me proofread all of my essays like this one. So there's a free and a premium version of Grammarly. I used free Grammarly throughout high school. It was super great, which just helped me proofread, um, you know, different like grammar, punctuation errors and stuff like that. But now that I have to deal with assignments like this one in university that are a lot longer, the premium version has been super helpful with ensuring clarity in my sentences and also minimizes um, overusing certain words. It will pick out different words in my papers that I'm repeatedly using. It'll just help diversify your vocabulary. You can download Grammarly for free onto your desktop. It works in Google Docs and emails, wherever you're writing, Grammarly will work. So you can click this link to download it for free or you can also upgrade to the premium version for 20% off. I just got done with my test. Literally did not know how to do the question. It was like a three part question. The first two parts were super easy and straightforward. You could not figure out how to make Make this freaking quantity demanded function for the life of me. To be fair, I did not study nearly enough for that. Had like such a busy weekend in Phoenix, like just did not have time to do math, obviously. The scheduling of that trip was just like the worst timing ever. But I'm walking to the museum right now for my history class. For every one of these 10 page papers, we're analyzing the exhibit.
library and I'm gonna wash my sheets. Basically, I had class and then I got my lunch, which you saw, and then I just was at the library working on my essay for an hour. I have two out of 10 pages, mostly because like the entire hour that I was there this morning was mostly just spent on me like planning everything. I have to analyze the museum exhibit. So I was just looking over all the photos that I took yesterday while I was at the museum so I could figure out what it was that I wanted to say and like what my thesis would be and stuff like that. As for tonight, first of all, I have tennis practice at six. I actually need a shower before practice. I need to like do my hair before practice because my friends and I are having a surprise birthday dinner for our other friend. Super excited about dinner. I haven't gone to like a nice dinner in a while. Like the last time I went for a nice dinner is probably like when my dad came to visit me. <laughs> Ready for dinner. I just had tennis practice. Time. You don't know your license plate? This is a new place and I've never done a Pilates class before. So we just finished our Pilates, Pilates. class. We, we did a beginner's Pilates class. We kind of killed it. Not gonna lie. Murder that. We're gonna do a harder class next time, but we got it for free through this app. It was really refreshing and it was like a great start to our Friday. It just felt really nice. Yeah. It's a football game later, so we're like tailgating. So now we're gonna go to Air One. We're in the lovely area of Pasadena. We need to do a day in Pasadena one day because I love Pasadena so much. <laughs> Let's try this drink though. <laughs> Who's sipping? Like so much going on. It's like, like model magic clay. Model magic clay, right? <laughs> it's time to get ready for tailgate. It's been a while since I've tailgated. I literally had such a nice morning. Count on my Pilates as you saw. And then we went to Erewhon. It felt nice like eating food that doesn't make you feel like turds afterwards because that's normally the type of food that I eat. I'm gonna get ready and I'm gonna go to Callan. I didn't film yesterday, but basically it was my friend's birthday dinner. We went to this really nice Italian place. The food was good. We got to like catch up on everything and then we had our cupcakes in her room. And then I ended up just chilling in Callan's room. <laughs> Saturday. I'm gonna get ready really quickly because I'm going to brunch with Addie and Callum. We're taking Addie out for brunch because it was her birthday last week and I was in Phoenix last week so I couldn't go to like all of her birthday festivities. I'm going to get laser hair removal at Loria Aesthetics in Sherman Oaks. I'm like a combination of nervous but I'm also very excited. I've wanted to get laser hair removal for the longest time. Time. And then I have a nail appointment. So I have to go from brunch to laser to my nail appointment. And then I have to grind out some homework. And then we're going out tonight. considering literally staying until like 3 a.m. until I finished my essay but my body is literally about to crash because I've been working since 4. plan is that I'm gonna wake up early tomorrow to finish my essay and then I have my course registration at 9 a.m. I have a hair appointment at 10 20 which I'm low-key gonna try and call and cancel tomorrow depending on what the cancellation policy is I have to see done doing my course selection. It went a little bit better than I expected actually because I got my first choice econ class with this really good professor. Picked a random professor for my business stats class. I got all the classes that I need. So now I'm gonna go and Uber to my hair appointment. This is the before of the hair. I'm darkening my highlights. I'm darkening them for the fall and also cutting my hair. Let's go to this hair appointment. 
here's the hair immediately after this looks right if anything the only thing that i'm not happy about is that i wish i kept the length a little bit longer i told her to go shorter that was my fault here's the back i don't even know what it looks like from the back so you tell me how it looks i'm really happy that it's not too dark because every single time that i go dark after dyeing my hair light it's too freaking black this is like a really nice color because like there's still some dimension so um it's two o'clock right now my paper is due at five i'm at 20 citations so i need five more and i can 100 percent do that in the next three hours I just finally submitted my essay with nine minutes to spare. My hands are sweating. I was writing my appendix and my work cited list. Oh. <laughs> I literally read through the paper twice. I whipped out my Grammarly and I'm being so unbelievably serious when I say that I literally just rapid edited that in like five minutes because it caught all 38 spelling errors that I had in the essay. And I just submitted that. Free of spelling errors. Mm -hmm. 